Hi, I'm John from Drive It in New Plymouth. One of the most frequently asked things we get is how to drive a Road Rager gearbox. So, we're going to show you how to do it today. So, let's get into it. So, there's a couple of really key points to make our lives a bit easier when we're driving these things. The first thing is, don't rush. Uh, don't put any pressure on yourself. Everybody, including myself and everybody else who's ever driven one, has certainly missed a few gears, uh, crowned a few gears, uh, and probably still will. So, don't be hard on yourself and don't, just don't rush. The gearbox itself, if you get flustered with it, if you get stressed with it, and try and rush it, it just won't work. So, that's it, number one. Just, just take it easy. Take it easy on yourself and try not to rush the whole process. Got some other things to think about with the gearbox itself. What we're trying to do. So we're going to uh, we're today going to be looking at the clutching method. We're not going to try and teach you how to float the gears or drive without the clutch. Road Ranger itself uh, recommends using the clutch, so we're going to just talk about the recommended uh, method. So, with regards to clutching, um, just remembering we're going to we are going to double clutch and we're going to double half clutch. So the only time we're going to put the clutch in full time, uh, as in all the way in, is our first takeoff. So that'll be your clutch brake valve, as in this truck's on the side. If it of the gear stick, if it hasn't got one, it's in the foot pedal, and it's in, and it's a full clutch for takeoff only till we find the gear. The rest of the time, it's two half clutches, as in clutch, clutch. So two half clutches, clutch, clutch. That's the timing there we want to be after. So the Eaton Fuller 18 speed Road Ranger is what we're driving today. So where it gets its 18 speed from is it's gonna you've got a low range H pattern and a high range H pattern, and then you've also got your uh, crawl and reverse and your high low and your split so basically you've got your first second third fourth each one of those has a splitter if you choose to use it or need to use it then you go into high range fifth sixth seventh eighth same thing with our splitter on the right hand side reverse right across and up and crawl right across and back down so that gives us our 18 speed pattern most of the time don't be too hard on yourselves you only need to drive um, you're not going to split all the gears, we're only going to split some of them. The other thing to think about with what we're doing is we're effectively rev matching the gearbox to the motor. So when we're going to downshift and we need to uh, give it some revs, we're going to give it some revs on the downshifts only, as in from changing to a lower gear, give it some revs so that we basically match the gearbox and the motor back into sync. And when we let the clutch out, they sync in again. Uh, as in, the Road Ranger isn't a sync or a gearbox, so it doesn't do that for us, so we have to manually do it. So that's called rev matching if you've heard that term before, which is when we give it a stab of revs, bring it back up to speed, they mesh in together, and we drive on. That's going down through the gears, so the lower gears each time. And, and timing is basically the key for these things. It's all about timing. And once you've got it, you never forget it, but it does take a little while to learn it. The timing itself and the easiest way is a tempo of clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. Clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. That's the timing. Doesn't matter which gear we're going, it's clutch to neutral, clutch to gear quite slow, quite methodical, and you actually put them into gear. It's not going to fall in for you, you'll actually clunk it in, clunk it in. Not grind it in, <laughs> we just want to clunk it in. The thing that's one of the key points for a Road Ranger gearbox is preloading the gear stick. Um, by that I mean, if, we, if we, the gear lever is going that way, we're going to preload up. The gear lever come back that way, we're going to preload down, just putting some weight on it. I'll show you what we mean as we go. So, start with, with takeoff. Um, depending what gear you need to take off in, low range, so the selectors down into low, um, whether you choose to be in low range first, second, third or fourth, uh, we'll take off in low range third today, we're sort of running downhill a little bit, um, so we don't need to always start in first, you can miss a couple of gears quite comfortably. So we'll do that and we'll work our way through and you can see what we mean. So clutch break in, only time we're going to use our full clutch all the way in, knock it into gear and we'll take off. And we take off, two half clutches, clutch to neutral, Clutch to gear. We're away now, high range box, selected early. Clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. Quite knocky, um, this is a fairly new gearbox and it's still knocky, so don't be worried about that. They are quite a solid feeling gearbox, they're a heavily industrial gearbox. So we're going to go through from high range six, high range seven here. So a bit of preloading, clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. So same thing now from seven through to eight. So some weight on the gearbox, a little bit of weight, don't pull it out, just a little bit. Clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. So with the preloading, uh, basically you need to put weight on the gear stick. Basically as we're going to work our way forward or back through the gears. It's going to be some weight. Just takes the weight off the gearbox and does some of the shifting for us before we need to. So with the downshifting, you're going to go 
in the, the clutch to neutral and then we're going to give it some revs and then clutch to gear. So there's a little bit of revs just to rev match. So we're going clutch to neutral, some revs, clutch to gear. So you watch as we go through now. So clutch to neutral, some revs, clutch to gear. It's only a little bit. You only need to do each truck's different. Probably some of them are 100 revs like in this truck. Some might be four or 500 revs. But you're effectively rev matching. So clutch to neutral, revs, clutch to gear. We'll have another look at it now. Just remember it's just matching the gearbox up with the motor speed. So clutch to neutral, revs, clutch to gear. Same thing here now, going from seventh down through to six. Clutch to neutral, little bit of revs, clutch to gear. Important to remember that the clutch has got to be out when you're doing that rev. So clutch to neutral, revs, with the clutch out, clutch to gear. So the next thing to have a look at is the splitter. Um, what it effectively does is it's a half gear. So we've got our full gears in our pattern and our splitter on the side here. The trick with it is, when you're gonna use it, um, select it, give it a couple of seconds before you change. Uh, and by changing, I mean dip off the throttle, back on the throttle again, and the selector will do its magic and you'll be, you will have half split that gear. So the splitting is literally just a half a gear when we need it. So if long drags up a hill, fully loaded, and you might need to use those half gears. You don't have to use it every time. So don't be too hard on yourself, especially while you're learning. Full gears are uh, fine. Um, you, as you get into it, experiment with the splitter and you'll find it'll be really good for you, especially truck or loaded truck, loaded truck and trailer pulling up a hill. Those half gears definitely work really well, but you don't have to use them all the time. The other thing with the splitter on a downshift, don't use it. Just downshift to full gear. If we're going from uh, eighth high through to seven, just to split, don't split it, just change the full gear. Because chances are, if you try and split it, it won't work the gearbox won't like it, and the reality is if we're slowing down, then we might as well grab a full gear and use the engine brake to, uh, and the engine pressure to help us slow down. So with our splitter, uh, start, truck start to labour a little bit, you want to give it half a gear, split, give it a second, throttle out, throttle back in again, we're in, you now we've split the gear down and we're now in a half gear lower. Same again, if you want to bring it up again, push the splitter forward, high split, throttle off, the gear, truck's changed nicely. So there you have it, uh, a short video on how to drive the Road Rage gearbox. I hope you found it useful. Um, just those couple of key points. Um, remember, preload that gear stick, so a little bit of weight on whichever way we're going. And remember, two half clutches, that's a double clutch. Clutch to neutral, clutch to gear. That's the pattern you want to go through. We touched on a little bit on splitting, but we haven't gone too far into it. We'll follow that up with another video later, because if you're working your way through the Road Ranger, then there's probably enough to think about now. Um, just have a go as you go through, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, please contact us via our website, www.driver.kiwi, um, or in the address below in the description box. Love to hear from you, and uh, yeah, good luck out there, and enjoy it, and we'll follow it up with some more videos. Cheers.